बेसिक प्रोपोर्शनलिटी थ्योरम स्टेटमेंट ऑफ बेसिक प्रोपोर्शनलिटी थ्योरम और बीपीटी इज इफ अ लाइन इज ड्रॉन पैरेलल टू वन साइड ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल इंटरसेक्टिंग अदर टू साइड्स इन टू डिस्टिंग पॉइंट्स देन अदर टू साइड्स आर डिवाइडेड इन द सेम रेशियो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दिस थ्योरम विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ डायग्राम If we see the triangle in which a line DE is drawn parallel to BC, intersecting AB at D and AC at E, and we have to prove that other two sides are divided by DE in same ratio. So we have to prove AD upon DB is equal to AE upon EC. Now write what is given in that theorem. According to statement, it is given that triangle ABC is given. Given a triangle ABC in which DE is parallel to BC. DE is parallel to BC, and we need to prove. AD upon DB. Is equal to AE upon EC. For that, we have to construct something. We will use area of triangle concept. So, if you are taking triangle ADE, we need to draw perpendicular. If you take AD as base, then perpendicular will be drawn from the vertex E. So, draw. EF perpendicular on AD. Draw EF perpendicular on AD. And if you take AE as base, then the perpendicular must be drawn from the vertex D. So draw DG perpendicular on A. As we have to prove AD upon DB. For DB, we have to join CD and B as DB is not the side of any triangle. We need to make triangles which contain the side DB and AC. So we have to join B and CD. Proof. First of all, write the formula of area of triangle. Area of triangle is half into base into height. We will use ratio of areas of two triangles. So, area of triangle ADE. Upon area of triangle DEB, area of triangle ADE will be half into base AD, and altitude is EF. Now, area of triangle DEB, DEB half into base. We will use DB as base. For DB, perpendicular will be drawn from vertex E, so EF will be the perpendicular for the base DB of the triangle DEB. Cancelling half and EF, we get AD by DB. Let it is equation number one. Now, take ratio of another two triangles. Area of AD, which is same as previous equation. But in denominator, we will use area of triangle DEC as we have to consider EC as base. EC as base. So area of triangle ADE divided by area of triangle DEC. 
area of triangle AD, if you take AE as base, then perpendicular must be drawn from the vertex D. So DG will be the perpendicular. For area of triangle DEC, if you take EC as base, then DG will be the perpendicular. Cancelling half and DG, we get it is equal to AE upon EC. That it is equation number 2. Now, in earlier classes, we have learned that triangles on same base, which lie between same parallels, are always equal in area. Here in the diagram, we can see triangle DEB and triangle DEC have common base DE and both the triangles are lying between same parallel lines DE and BC. So they are equal in area. We will write that area of triangle DEC is equal to area of triangle DEB. Write it as equation number 3 and write its reason. Triangles on the same base and lie between same parallels are equal in area. By using equation first, second and third, what we get? In first and second, numerator of left hand sides are equal and denominator are also equal which uh, with the use of equation number 3. So, the from equation first and second, left hand sides are equal which implies that right hand side of the equations are also equal. So, from equation 1, 2 and 3, we get AD by DB, AD by DB is equal to AE by AC. This is basic proportionality theorem.